What's going on guys? Cubologist here from beautiful Yonkers, New York. But today, what I'm gonna be taking a look at are the two newest members of the Cubicle Labs magnetic family, the Wuchwe M 4x4 and the Wuxuang M 5x5. All right, so now we've magically transported back to my apartment here. And as you can see, I've got the two puzzles in the checkerboards because that's the way I like for them to be sitting around. But I'm gonna separate this into two different parts, one on the 4x4 and one on the 5x5. So let's get rid of this one and take a look at the Wu Chui 4x4. So I think for one more day, these puzzles will be on sale. I'll link them down in the description if you wanna go check them out. But I think the 4x4, which is typically $60, is now 51, and the 5x5, which is typically $65, is now 55 but like i said i think that's ending wednesday which might be today when i upload this video so definitely go check that out but i want to talk about this 4x4 because out of the two this one is more relevant for me because i don't really do 5x5 and when i do i'm god awful at it but this 4x4 i think is probably the best 4x4 on the market and let me tell you why the magnets that we use are actually weaker on the outer layers than they are on the inner layers. And for that reason, you can do things like H perms, just like on a three by three, which is pretty amazing to me. And I think that's something that's been missing from four by fours a lot. And another small issue that the magnets fix is whenever you're doing, say you're doing Yao and you've got your cross edges already in and you start your edge pairing, whenever you do a UW move like that, you can just grab this middle layer and turn it. And no matter how hard you turn that, they're never going to misalign the top and the middle layer. And not that that's a huge deal during edge pairing, because if it does that, you know, you're still just affecting the inner edges. So that's not that big of a deal. But let's say you have these two edges memorized. Whenever you do this, you would think that they're there and that could throw you off if they don't travel together. And as you can see here, the magnets holding the inner layers together are definitely thicker than the ones holding the outer layers together, which is what gives you that really stable M-slice feeling on this puzzle. And as for feel, I would say that this is the best feeling 4x4 I've ever tried. And I don't think that's in my head. The 3x3 section of this puzzle just blows me away. I think it's fantastic even though my turning may not be. But now let's talk about this guy, the Wuxuang 5x5M from Cubicle Labs. So let's get it out of the checkerboard real quick. If you guys follow my channel at all, you'll know that I don't really do bigger cubes like this. So I'm kind of out of my element here, but I do know that magnets definitely help larger puzzles like this. And the reason for that is because I think accuracy is definitely more important on bigger puzzles. Whenever I do this algorithm, the way I do it is R U prime R kind of a flick with my middle finger right there. And when these layers just automatically align, it lets me do that move without actually having to think about it like that. So that's really fantastic. And that is why I think that magnets, even more so than in 3x3, three three, have a special place in larger order puzzles like this. Now, the magnets on the inner layers of this are stronger than on the outer layers, which makes the 3x3 three three stage easier. But I don't think... Now, maybe I'm wrong here. Yeah, it's still difficult to do... M-slice moves, even though it is possible. It's still not super easy, though. And as you can see here, the inner magnets are still heavier than the outer magnets, which lets 3x3 three three stage flow on this puzzle. And as far as feel goes on this one, just imagine a really smooth wuxuang and then add a small bump whenever the layers align. Because the magnets in this are not super strong, even on the inside, but it gives you a little bit of feedback whenever they click into place, and that's super satisfying, especially on these larger order puzzles. So final thoughts on these. Now I know my opinion is somewhat biased because as you guys know, I work at the cubicle, 
but I think these are the best 4x4 and 5x5 I've ever tried, hands down. Now, I'm not saying that everyone should go out and get these. If I wasn't sponsored by them slash work for the cubicle, I probably wouldn't own these because they're not my main event. But if I was into these puzzles and practice them often, I think these are a must have because especially with the 4x4, it already holds the world record and the 5x5 probably will soon if I had to guess. So let me know what you guys think. Have you tried these? Do you like them? Either way, just let me know down in the comments. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want these puzzles, you better do it in the next day because like I said, the sale goes through Wednesday. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I hope you did and you'll hear from me really soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye.